Hey, welcome back to the Scrappery channel. Zoe here. I again am working with the TSK kit Ava and the BPK kit Zara. Um, I mix the two together. Um, I like to have a much bigger kit to choose from. Um, so I'm going to scrap today with this um, set of four um, small Instagram pictures of my son. Um, they're not the best quality pictures at all, but I'm really enjoying um, scrapping with those pictures that aren't so perfect or aren't, I don't know, aren't, you know, the best pictures at the moment because I think sometimes we get co so caught up in having the best picture that we maybe miss the best image of the subject, if that makes any sense at all. I maybe I'm not making any sense. It makes sense to me though. <laughs> My children are um yeah, they're, they're, they never stay still, you know, they're moving and constantly um ruining my best intentions to take photos of them. So I've started to embrace the uh the slightly blurred and the slightly out of focus um photos because I guess paired with the, the with better photos they will tell a much deeper story when you look through my albums. I hope so anyway. Maybe one day I'll look through my albums and it'll just be all these half like, sort of blurred photos and I will be wondering what on earth I was thinking. But for now I'm enjoying myself and it's working for me. So I'm just uh, adding some of that beautiful wood grain effect paper to the corners. Um, having done my <coughs> my little layers which I'm stapling together, I'm going to use that beautiful rose stencil again, but just the leaves this time. Um, oh, no I'm not, I'm going to use <laughs> some, um, I think, hickory smoke distressing just to deepen the edges of my layers. Um, they were starting to look a little, um, a little samey, so I, I often like to just darken the edges of my layers to just give them more depth and definition from each other. Uh, but yes, I'm going to use the, the leaves from that beautiful rose stencil. Um, again, I've sprayed them with um, a thin coat of the 3M um, spray mount glue um, to make them kind of like a post-it. Um, and it makes stenciling just oh so much easier. Seriously, you should try it. It is so good. And, you know, the, the glue doesn't stick to anything else. It's, it just makes it kind of like a post-it. And it stays on for quite a while, actually, even after washing. You get maybe four or five uses before it needs a respray. Which I think is pretty good. Anywho, I'm waffling again. Um, I'm just using the beautiful uh, Heidi Swap Colour Shine that came in the kit. Um, to spray over these leaves and make quite a large blodge of pink in the middle of my paper. Because why not? Um, I am actually going to um, tone the colour down just a little bit with a little um, white acrylic paint um, that I'm using a an old gift card um, just to to layer it over the stencil and the pink spray. Um, it will fade out quite a bit in the um, in the final piece, but I quite like the. <clears throat> the texture it gives um, over the spray. I think it looks quite interesting. I've just added some foam tape to the back of my paper layers there. And I'm going to have a little look through the ephemera pack. <clears throat> I think, I'm pretty sure I don't actually end up using any of the ephemera in this one. Um, Maybe I do. I can't remember. I, I, th I don't think I do. Um, oh, I love these puffy stickers. They're so cute. And I pick <clears throat> this puffy sticker, uh, but I actually end up taking it back up um, in a second because I decided I want a nice big title instead rather than that little puffy sticker one. I love those stickers. The font of them is just gorgeous. 
And I love that they're white as well, so they don't overpower, even though they're so big, they don't overpower the layout. I think they're really useful and really versatile um, in that way. And um, I think maybe you could spray them, or certainly you could use embossing powder. Maybe? Would they melt? Ooh, I don't know, I might try. I might try that on my next layout and just see if I can emboss over them or at least colorize them maybe. So that could be fun. I'm just going to tear this washi um, strip and add it to either corner and I think I had a little bit in my layers as well just to add the gold in three places. I try. I don't always but I, I aim to mostly have things in threes. I um, I don't always manage it, but I don't know. I, I, I tend to work in threes. I'm using these um, tiny paper doilies again, <laughs> which, yeah, they're so cute. They are absolutely adorable, but taking the holes out of those is, um, yeah. You want to put aside a little time to do <laughs> that. <laughs> I'm just using some of these puffies again to extend the eye up a little bit and across a little bit. Let's give it almost a backwards L shape alongside the corners. And I actually um, decide right around here that I think my top corner is too bare. So I'm popping some tiny words because I'm actually using the new crepe paper yeah I am I have it uh-huh yes I do it is lovely but oh my gosh there are so many happy valentine's words on this tiny words sheet that there must be like 50 that say happy valentine's day which is kind of crazy I don't even celebrate valentine's day but <clears throat> the other words I'm going to use on this um I think they say things like hello beautiful or something like that uh, but this is such a cute collection, so I couldn't resist opening it and uh, popping a few of the, um, the stickers on here. My son, his favourite colour is pink, so I do tend to use a lot of pink in his layouts because that's what he loves. I'm just grabbing a few enamel dots from my stash there just to um, add to the puffy stickers that I used earlier. I'm trying to decide what I want to add next to those word stickers and I just end up using um, enamel dots, I think. <clears throat> and I think... Ooh. Oh, I know, I'm just... Um, I found the layers were just slightly offset where I'd stuck them down with the, the foam thicker. Um, they were looking a little too off the page at the top. What, what word am I looking for there? There's a word. I know there is. Um, so I'm just sticking them down anyway. And using a little Heidi Swap colour shine in the navy colour. Um, just to have a little, a little bit of contrast in with the pink. And I think that's about everything that I do to this layer. I had such a good time making this one. It's so fun to make. Um... So I hope you enjoyed it. Um, we'd love to see you over in the Scrappery Creatives group um, and see what layouts you've made with this kit. Um, and thank you ever so much for watching. And I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.